Hello guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to this video tutorial series on creating an Angular 7 application with ASP.NET Core 2.2 Web API. So in the last video tutorial, we enabled cores, that is cross-origin resource sharing in our project. So now applications on other domains can make cross-origin requests to our web APIs. In this video tutorial, we will be creating all required model classes for our project. We will create three model classes, one for the login, one for the registration, and one for the product itself. So to create our model class, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and create a new folder and call it models. So let's do that. Now inside our model folders, we will create three classes, one for login, one for registration, and one for the product. So we have created three classes for login, product, and for register. Now let's go ahead and add the properties for our login view. So we just require two properties. One is for username and password. Since the user will enter them in the login form when they want to log into our application. We also want to make sure that we decorate this property with data annotation, which is required because this field is mandatory. We will add the missing reference to our data annotations. We also want to make sure that when we display, we display the uh, property as username. So we'll use display and change the name is equal to username. So it will dis be displayed like this. Now we also want to add the required property to our password and for password we are going to change this display to data type and we will tell the browser that this data type dot password is the data annotation and that should be it for our login view model so now let's go ahead and add the properties for our register view model so let's get rid of this constructor and add our properties so let's add the missing reference for our annotation so just add component model dot data annotation using statement and when it's added all the errors are gone now we want to specify the data annotation saying it's an email address for email and we have changed the username once again to be displayed as user space name and all these properties are required so we have decorated them with the required attribute and finally, for the password, we have used the data type, data type dot password. So that's it for our register view model. Go ahead, pause the video and create these three properties. So now let's go ahead and create the properties for our product model. So let's go ahead, get rid of this constructor and add our properties, add the missing reference and just to using system component model dot data annotation. So I have decorated the product ID with the key, which means this is our primary key for the table or the column product and for the table of products, um, the column product ID will hold the primary key. Then we have added the attribute of required because all these values are required. Uh, you don't have to specify required to the key because it will be automatically generated and so therefore it doesn't matter if you decorate it with required or no for the name i have specified a max length of 50 so we don't want the user to enter more than 50 characters so for the max length of the product description we have used 150 so we don't want the user to add more than 150 characters out of stock is a bool property which means that is if the product is in stock or yes or no so it's true or false so we have used a bool property data type 
and then we have a image URL which is also required so we would not be uploading the image we'll just add a link to the image and we can use a string property for that so I have called it as image URL and finally we have the price of the product which is also required and the data type for that is double so that's it for all our model classes go ahead pause this video create your product model properties and then in the next video tutorial we will start working on our application db context class and enable migrations in our project so thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy